Welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The game was rained out yesterday, so we have a double header today. The Giants have played their first game against the Mets and lost 5-4. to four. I think it was very bad that they couldn't hold on to that 4-1 to one lead that they had. After the Mets had scored a run, Jason Vossler and Brandon Crawford had singles. Actually, first, Jock Peterson had the home run. That, in total, got the Giants their four runs of this game. But then in the bottom of the fifth inning, Alex Cobb gave up a single to Travis Jankowski, and then back-to-back -back doubles to James McCann and Jeff McNeil. That got the game to 4-3. to three. After that, it was reported that Cobb left the game with a groin injury, so we hope he's okay. But this, of course, seems to imply that Cobb wouldn't have come out of the game if it weren't for his slight injury. Hopefully it's slight, but basically it seems he wouldn't have come out of the game if it weren't for that, even after having given up those two doubles. So what Kapler's managing plan was, I just have to criticize it if it was to leave Cobb in the game after that. The point is he should have come out anyway. But then Dominic Leone, he came in and he gave up the game-tying double to Francisco Lindor. So they just couldn't keep the Mets' power down in that fifth inning. Something happened. Then there was the pitching change, and it got tied. And then Leone struck out Pete Alonso to get out of that inning. And the game remained tied till the extra innings. The bottom of the ninth, the Mets really had a threat going after Camilo Doval. He couldn't find the strike zone to begin with, and so he walked two hitters. And then there was that bunt, ground out, moved them to second and third to get one out for him. But he just, he really regained his command after that and got the next two outs of the game. And after Doval had faced three hitters, I have to say I was wondering whether they whether Kapler should have taken him out of the game right there because of his lack of command. And Kapler decided not to do that. Again, this is a doubleheader. He's going to want to save his pitchers if possible. But Doval, it was really good how he got his command together and he started throwing strikes and got out of that inning. And he's been able to successfully work around jams this year. That's just a strength. The weakness is sometimes his lack of command. And sometimes you will see it's a very common way to lose a game to have a reliever come in and not be able to throw strikes, not be able to find the strike zone. And, and then he throws a pitch and it's in the strike zone right down the middle of the plate. The batter whams it for an extra base hit or a home run or whatever. And then the other team ends up winning. That's a common way to lose a game when a pitcher doesn't have his command either he's throwing balls or the ball just catches too much of the strike zone and finds that fat part of the bat that can hit it hard and the hitter hits it but Camilo Doval he got his control together and he threw quality strikes quality enough to end this inning and then the top of the 10th inning for the Giants they had this rally going the biggest disappointment what lost it for them was really that overturning of the call. Tyro Estrada had originally been said to have reached on Francisco Lindor's error. The Giants were ahead 5-4. to four. Then the Mets challenged it, and it was overturned. That was the Mets' second overturned call they got in this game. And you do get extra challenges in the extra innings. So Tyro Estrada was called out. And the 10th inning was over. Then, then in the bottom of the 10th, Harleen Garcia gave up the walk-off hit to end it. And he did have the automatic runner on base, but it's it's just been shown, I think, a few times that Harleen Garcia doesn't have a real good track record of pitching well in the extra innings. And that's much harder, definitely. You've got the automatic runner on second, but, you know, I just remember quite a that this would seem to have happened quite a few times because last year I, I remember at least a couple of times where they got to the extra innings and they lost with Harleen Garcia pitching. And, and it's, he walked a batter, then that he set up the double play. 
and then he gave up the hit. So that's just, it's kind of that way in extra innings that if you don't score in your top half, if you're not the home team, then you're in a really tight spot to get to the bottom of it. And, and the Giants, they just made a close one. I think really offensively, the Giants in the top of the 10th inning, they were drawing out good at bats. I mean, the hitters, they were making the pitchers work, you know. And Wilmer Flores, he flew out. That one was a productive out. I, I think the Giants were really drawing out good at bat against Adam Adovino. But they just, in the end, Estrada hit one that was legitimate ground out. But Lindor, he bobbled a bit. But the umpires ruled that he did make the throw in time. So that, that was the thing. Whether the Giants would have won if it weren't for that, we'll never know. And then, yeah, I think it's just, it was just extra inning misfortune this time for the Giants. They had scored runs well in the early game, then the bats went cold at the end of the game. So yeah, they're going to have to hold on to their leads. I think they're still going to be able to do that consistently. I think today was just kind of a bad day and really just a bad Fifth inning, too, and then tenth inning, that single that ended the game. I I mean, that was just, it, it was a problem. A sacrifice fly even would have done it, but just, you know, with Garcia giving up a line drive single, you know, you figure he probably didn't have his best stuff this day. I mean, if he could have had a chance to continue, I mean, without the automatic runner, it'd be okay if you give up a single, you'd have a chance to finish the inning. It was really the automatic runner that did it, but the automatic runner rule, whether we like it or not, is here. And if you don't score in your chance in the inning with your automatic runner, you've got to deal with the other team getting that advantage. That's really a lot more to deal with. And so it just didn't happen. I, I would just take this as kind of a game with a couple of innings in which there was just a misfortune for the Giants and their bats couldn't quite get hot enough at the end of the game. I think that they're still going to be good. And my best guess is they will come back and win this series against the Mets. And Alex Cobb, he was solid today until the fifth inning, which is a good thing. So we'll see in game two. We got Logan Webb pitching. I have high hopes that he's going to be good. I also have high hopes that he's going to pitch deep into the game. So we will see. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you have not. If you've got a question or a comment, you are encouraged to email me at gabrielvon89 at gmail.com. Thank you. I'll see you later today after the second game.